Hi everyone. In this lesson, we are going to look at how uh, the, the part three um, comprehension for your new SPM format. Okay, and this article, the article that we are going to read today, is about a friendship. Okay, it's about friendship. Now, um, in this lesson, we will just discuss uh, the meaning of this text. And after that, you will have to work on the questions. And in the next lesson, uh, hopefully, uh, we will have uh, a Google Meet class. Okay, I, I will try my best to work on uh, the technical issues that I'm facing. And after that, we will have a Google Meet and discuss the answers together. Okay, now let's look at the paragraph number one. When it comes to our physical and mental health, friendship may truly be the best medicine. Okay, when it comes to. Okay, so the phrase comes bukan datang kat sini. Okay, so the phrase when it comes to, maksudnya when we are talking about our physical and mental health. Okay. Um, friendship may truly be the best medicine. Okay. An Australian study showed that strong network, a strong social network, may lengthen the lifespan of elderly men and women. Okay, so it means that strong social networks, okay, hubungan social, hubungan masyarakat yang kuat, maksudnya. Uh, orang yang ada banyak kawan lah. Okay, lengthen boleh memanjangkan lifespan nyawa. Okay, as the author Edna uh, Bakkenon put it, friends are the family we choose for ourselves. A good friendship is indeed something to savor and protect. Savor is like to enjoy. Okay, but of course. Uh, the meaning here is to appreciate. It's like uh, menghayati lah. Menghagai. Yet, like any human relationship, even the closest of friends, the closest of friendships can unravel. Unravel is can fail in moments of weakness. How do we maintain the relationships we hold dear? Okay, so the relationships we hold dear means the relationship we we take it seriously that the relationship that we really really appreciate okay so this article is about how to maintain the relationships we hold dear okay tentang cara-caranya untuk mengekalkan Hubungan antara antara kawan lah, okay? Now, paragraph number two. How can you avoid falling out with someone you care? Okay, avoid. Avoid maksudnya, ela. Falling out. Okay, falling out maksudnya, gado. With someone you care. First and foremost, you must be honest. Relationships built on phony facades are only as good as their foundation. Phony means not real. Facade. Facade maksudnya muka. Okay? So phony facade maksudnya muka yang palsu. Okay? So relationships built on phony facade. Maksudnya hubungan yang dibina dengan muka yang palsu lah. Okay? Are only as good as their foundation. Okay? Of course, means that uh, maksudnya foundationnya tak bagus lah kalau hubungan ada muka yang palsu. Okay, they will definitely fizzle over time. Fizzle it it means like becomes fail. Okay, becomes fail over time. To achieve a solid friendship, you have to be honest with each other. You should set aside your ego and be willing. Okay, be willing is like sukarela. Okay, rela hati. Be willing to let your friends ask questions about you. Okay, so now look at look at the first point here. Yeah, 
the first point is uh, how do you achieve a solid friendship you have to be honest with each other okay and then how do you how, how how do you be honest first of all you should set aside your ego and then let your friends ask questions about you friends are likely to ask the tough questions tough questions maksudnya soalan-soalan yang susah for example why are you attracted to that person or are you jealous of that person? Having a friend who can tell it to your freak to you straight will help you know yourself better. Okay, now here is the benefit. Okay, apakah uh, what is the benefit? Okay, manfaat dapat kawan yang uh, yang jujur. Okay, yang jujur. Okay, your friends can help you know yourself better. In this way, your friendship will be more likely to sustain in honesty, directness, and integrity. Okay, now, para uh, next paragraph. Okay, so this paragraph, yeah, paragraph 2 is about being honest. Honesty, and then how to be honest with your friends, and uh, what is the advantage if you are being honest with your friends. Okay, so that is the main point of second paragraph. Okay, now let's read the third paragraph. Okay, paragraph ketiga. You must be willing to repair the broken relationships. Okay, broken relationships. Maksudnya hubungan yang, uh, yang pecah. Okay, how is broken relationship? Maksudnya, you sudah gado dengan kawan kamu lah. Kalau you sudah gado, then relationship is broken. Okay? Then, you must be willing. You kena rela repair. Okay, repair. Of course, you know the meaning, right? The broken relationship. When you know someone well, you are familiar with their strength as well as with their weaknesses. Uh, as, and so, just as you know how to cheer them up, you know exactly how to tear them down. Okay. Cheer them up. Okay, cheer them up means um, to make your friends happy. Uh, okay, and then tear them down means to make them sad, to make your friends sad. In moments of tension, we can let hurtful words slip out. Okay. Hurtful words. Maksudnya perkataan-perkataan yang menyakitkan hati orang. Slip out. Means like you say something accidentally. Okay. To err is human. Okay. This is a very good phrase. To err is human. Um, I think I will. I have a question for that. Okay. So I'm not gonna tell you the answer here. Yeah. To err is human. Hold on. <clears throat> to err is... Yes, so I'm not going to tell you the answer. So you have to guess the meaning. We are all sure to mess up at times. But when we do, we have to be... We have to eat humble pie and repair the situation. Eat humble pie. Okay, eat humble pie. Masoknya. Uh, you have to admit your mistakes. Okay, admit your mistakes and repair the situation. When you make a mistake, apologize for it. Don't be afraid to be the one who reaches out. Okay, reaches out means um, menyampaikan, uh, menyampaikan fikiran lah atau pergi cari kawan kamu. Reaches out. When you reach out for your friend, it means that you go to find your friend. Okay, time is precious and not worth wasting. Especially when it comes to people we appreciate in life. Okay, now, look at paragraph number three. Okay, what is the main idea? The main idea is um, in order to maintain 
the relationship, we have to be willing to repair the broken relationships. And after that, the author tell you, why do we need to be willing to repair the broken relationship? Because, uh, because to err is human, okay? Because to err is human, and and because we know how to cheer our friends up and tear them down, okay? Because we know our friends, we are the closest person. Uh, we are we are the closest people to our friends, okay? So. The author tells you about the reasons why you should repair the broken relationship. After that, the, uh, the author tells you, teaches you how to repair the broken relationship. First of all, you have to eat humble pie. Maksudnya, you have to admit your mistakes. Then, repair the situation. And also, the author asks you not to be afraid to be the one who reaches out, okay? So these are the main ideas for the third paragraph. Okay, next. We must cherish our friends. Cherish is like menghargai. Okay, it's similar to uh, appreciate. The familiarity and comfort we feel with our friend can sometimes leave us forgetting to show gratitude. Okay. Gratitude is uh, it's to show our um, how to say it's like our like we want to thank someone. The feeling that you want to thank someone that is gratitude. We might we might slip into a routine. Okay, we might slip into a routine that. We take our friends for granted. Okay, slip into a routine means that you take it for granted. Okay, like you get used to it. So you take your friends for granted. Therefore, we have to find time to make real contact with friends for the relationship to flourish. Besides, we must engage in act of kindness. You see, engage in masoknya. Buat, okay, you buat sesuatu, you engage in Act of kindness, maksudnya perbuatan yang baik Perbuatan yang baik That are focused on our friends, okay Now, continue, yeah Consider their interest when planning way to say thank you Okay, so you have to consider Ambek timbang rasa, okay. Ambek timbang their interest, minat mereka. When planning a way to say thank you, a woman I know used to plan over the top birthday parties for her best friend. After so many years, her friend quietly confessed to her that these lavish affairs made her feel uncomfortable and shy. She would rather go out to a casual dinner with a few friends. The revelation. Let the girl, let the woman to realize that her party planning had always been more about her than her friend. Okay, now look at the, look at this paragraph. Yeah, how do we? Uh, it's the main idea is about cherish our friends, and then the author teaches us how to cherish our friend. First of all. We have to uh, make real contact with friends. Okay, we have to make real contact. And then we have to also engage in acts of kindness. Okay, so these are the two ways to uh, show our gratitude. <clears throat> okay, but the author also gives us a, a warning. Okay, also, bagi kita warning juga. Warning to upper. The author, the, the author asks us to consider our friend's interest when we want when we are planning a way to say thank you. Okay? And then the author gives us an example about a woman always organized a party for her friend, but her friend did not really enjoy it. 
Okay, next. We must alter our expectations and avoid making assumptions. Okay, alter. Okay, alter is like tukar, change. Okay, and then avoid making assumptions. Assumptions, maksudnya, uh, is like your your belief. Okay, your belief about something, but you don't have any proof. Okay, so we need to alter our expectations and avoid making assumptions. Okay, avoid making assumptions in order to maintain good relationships. We must alter our expectations and avoid making assumptions. Okay. In any relationship, we can start to impose certain expectations on our friends. Okay. Expectations is like something you want other people to do. Okay, that is expectation. We may show our friendship through affection, favors, or gifts. But we shouldn't expect the same from our friends. Don't assume that your friends will show their appreciation for friendship in the same way. Every individual possesses, possesses, maksudnya, ada, okay, has a sovereign mind. Has a sovereign mind. A sovereign mind, maksudnya, uh, minda yang berdikari, okay? In other words, it means that different people think differently, okay? And their own perceptions of the world. Perceptions of the world means how we see the world. Cara kita tengok uh, dunia ini, okay? So different people have different perceptions of the world. They may, in turn, have a very different way of expressing their feelings. A close friend of mine rarely remembers to buy me a gift on my birthday. It would be easy for me to use this fact to feel bad and assume that she doesn't care about me the way I care for her. However, that would be far from the truth. Okay, so far from the truth. Maksudnya, Jauh daripada kenyataan. Kalau jauh daripada kenyataan, maksudnya apa? Maksudnya tak betul lah. Maksudnya tak benar. Okay? She simply shows warmth in other ways. For example, she often brings me books she thinks I will love. Picks up my favorite tea. Of course, the word picks up maksudnya belikan saya lah. Belikan saya teh yang saya suka minum. Picks up my favorite tea. Or talks with me for hours when I'm sad. Okay, now let's look at this paragraph again. What is the main idea? The main idea is that um, in order for us to maintain our friendship, we have to alter our expectations. Kita kena tukar apa yang orang kena buat bagi kita and avoid making assumptions. Okay, elakkan buat assumptions. And then the author tells us why. Kenapa? Kenapa kita nak? Kenapa kita perlu alter our expectations and avoid making assumptions? Because, okay, every individual, semua orang, every individual possesses a sovereign mind and their own perceptions of the world. So that's the reason. After that, after that, uh, the author gives us an example. Okay, bagi contoh kat belakang. Okay, next, last paragraph. In her book, The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying. The regret maksudnya benda-benda yang kita rasa menyesal. The dying maksudnya orang yang hampir mati. Okay? We really have that book, yeah? And then the author the author, okay, penulisnya, pengarangnya adalah the Australian nurse, Bronnie Ware, st stated that not maintaining friendships is one of people's biggest deathbed regrets. Deathbed regrets, maksudnya, uh, katil, uh, 
orang yang rasa menyesal apabila mereka baring di atas katil sebelum mereka matilah. Death, bad, regret. Keeping close friends is an essential part of life. An essential part. Maksudnya bahagian yang penting dalam hidup kita. That give us fulfillment. Okay, fulfillment is like content. Okay, like rasa kita, uh, like rasa apa, puas hati. Okay. Thus, keeping a realistic yet empathetic outlook of the world on the world will inherently expand your social circle. Okay, so expand your social circle means to make new friends, okay? Attracting others along the way. Of the characteristics, okay, characteristics is like, uh, like, like personalities, okay, like perangai atau perwatakan tentang seseorang lah. Discussed above are contag contagious. Contagious maksudnya boleh, um, bo like you can influence other people, okay? For example, if you are, uh, how do you say, if you cherish your friends, and then you can also make other people cherish their friends. So, so that is con contagious, okay? Dia boleh uh, mempengaruhi orang ramai. Alright, contagious. By being the kind of person you respect, you encourage others to do the same. Okay, so this is... Uh, the discussion on this article, okay, it's not that difficult, I think. So you have around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have eight questions. So this is gonna be your homework, all right? Okay, uh, complete it, and then uh, we will discuss it in the next, in the next lesson, all right? Okay, so see you uh, in the next lesson.